السلام علیکم امرسو پیپل دس از عائشہ قریشی اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل امرسو انگلش ڈیئر ویوورس ہیو یو ایور میڈ اے مسٹیک وائل ایکسپریسنگ یور تھاٹس ان انگلش ڈیڈ یو اور maybe there was a long pause between your speech when you were speaking to someone this situation must have caused you to feel embarrassment in front of the people dear viewers first of all you don't need to lose your self confidence as english is a tricky language we all make mistakes even native speakers make mistakes usually English students struggle hard to perfect their language learning but become frustrated when they make errors. Continuous criticism by their language teachers falling grades cause them to stop struggling. Dear viewers, remember one thing, you can never prevent mistakes, but with practice and hard work, these embarrassing moments can turn into opportunities for learning and progressing i hope this gives you a bit of relief up till now we have come to a conclusion that we all make mistakes and they cannot be avoided they cannot be prevented but you should bear in mind that some of these mistakes relate to things we all constantly hear from other people gradually we all start making these errors when there is no one to guide us they become part of our daily language so dear viewers today i'm going to tell you about some of the common mistakes that we need to avoid when speaking or writing these common mistakes are called crutch words okay let me explain you what actually crutch words are you must have seen crutches they are used as a support under the armpit by a person with an injury or disability well this is a literal meaning of crutches now let's understand what actually crutch words are and why we call them crutch words dear viewers when we cannot think of the right word to describe what we actually want to convey we use a crutch word to save ourselves from embarrassment they are sort of filler words that give us time to find the suitable words but we end up overusing them they distract the listener and weaken the point you are trying to make people have their own set of crutch words but there are quite a few that we use very commonly i don't mean to say that crutch words are all vague and meaningless but viewers when you keep on using them they lose their impact dear viewers i hope you all have understood what crutch words are Although different people have different crutch words but many people use them I also use crutch words sometimes but I make sure that I completely monitor my speech while it is for formal purposes I have prepared a list of common crutch words would you like to see them yes well then the next slides are for you I hope you would be with me The first crutch word that I have chosen is obviously. Do you use it? We use it all the time when we want to give a feeling that we have understood or recognized something. We may use it when we are in agreement with something. Instead, people use it too much for many other purposes such as look at this example. He obviously forgot to convey the message. 
Here obviously means completely. I obviously agree with you. Here obviously means fully. So obviously is a crutch word that so many people use it. Let's move to another crutch word. Just and so are very common crutch words. I hope many people who are listening to me use them a lot, especially when we are fumbling with the suitable words. Let's look at this example. I just want to say that I'm so grateful. He is just a confused personality. Now let's discuss the excessive use of so. Is this occasionally the first word out of your mouth when you start speaking something? But I wonder why people start their sentences with so. So basically indicates a continuation of a previous thought or it can be used to connect two thoughts. The correct use of so is It was raining so I took my umbrella with me. Whereas people misuse it. So, how are you? So, what's up? So, are you ready for the party? Let's move ahead to some other crutch words. You can see a few more crutch words on your screen such as kind of, sort of and I mean. These are the weaker words and they will make you sound unsure of yourselves. There are other such words. I suppose, I guess and I mean. These are some other crutch words that people use a lot. Probably when you want to say that in your opinion, everything you say is based upon your opinion, then why add up? I mean, frequently to your thoughts? The ones who are listening to you would rather be bored of hearing the same words time and again. Very and really are examples of intensifiers and we think they add power to our speech and writing. Usually, we use very and really when we don't have proper vocabulary to use. Same is the case with really. These words will make your point of view weak and vague. Have a look at these two statements. Yesterday, I ate a really tasty pizza at a very popular restaurant. Now, let's replace this statement with this one. Yesterday, I ate a scrumptious pizza at a renowned restaurant. Which one do you think sounds better? Yes, the second one with more suitable and beautiful vocabulary. There was no need to use really and very to magnify the taste of a pizza or popularity of the restaurant. There are suitable words in English dictionary to use for different purposes. You can replace the intensifiers such as very and really with better words. You can see a few examples on your screen. Instead of saying very happy, you can use better words such as elated or ecstatic and there are more examples as well in English dictionary. Don't say very sad, say wistful or crestfallen and there are other examples. All you need to do is to open the thesaurus and replace your words. Very hard working can be replaced with industrious or determined. This is how you can reduce the use of very and really. Two more overused crutch words are stuff and things. If we use them too frequently, they seem vague. You must have heard people saying, I'm so busy tomorrow, 
there are so many things and stuff i need to do or her drawing room is filled with beautiful stuff i cannot understand what actually stuff and things mean here so she could rather say her drawing room is filled with beautiful decoration pieces the research indicates many things what things maybe he means discoveries details findings or suggestions so in conclusion i want to say that stuff and things are vague and meaningless you must replace these words with better words with suitable words there are so many other crutch words that i could not cover due to the limited time some other crutch words are you know okay actually anyway anyhow somehow maybe almost well literally and there are many more viewers each person have their own crutch words the list i mention is simply a collection of the most widely used ones What about sharing your crutch words with me? I guess it would be a wonderful idea. Share your crutch words with me and other audience through the comment box. Kindly let me know if you want to get rid of your crutch words. Your crutch words are good words, Conbad. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.